I spent $40.65 on these items in total, and I turned that into $536.60. I'm going to basically tell you how I do it. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my bread and butter bolos. These are items that I sourced cheap and I sold for $35 or less on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Now, I'm going to tell you I spent $40.65 on these items in total, and I turned that into five hundred and thirty six dollars and sixty cents so can you make money with bread and butter items absolutely is it worth it yes so let's get started and i'm gonna basically tell you how i do it all right so the one place that i love to source things cheap is the goodwill bins but i source things cheap at a lot of locations so let's get started here with the first item and this first item is a Lego. And most of you probably just look past these little mini figures and just think, I'm not going to waste my time. And it, it's tempting. I have totes and totes and totes upon totes of Legos because when I'm at the Goodwill bins, I dig them out of the bins and literally they are just um, sitting in those totes. But I did see this little guy and I'm like, I know who this is. I can list him really quick. And I did. Uh, I took a best offer of $9 for him. He is Kristoff um, from the movie Frozen. And he's just a Lego, you guys. And I believe he's Lego friends because you see how he's got the different shape to him. So um, definitely be on the lookout for the Disney characters. And let's see. I got this at a thrift store for approximately 15 cents. And the buyer was all in for $15.53. The next item here is a Paw Patrol pup. And this is one of the twin replacement pups. And this one is just a major bread and butter. But here's what happened. They bundled. They bundled this one. And they bundled this one. And they bundled the set, the pair. And they were all in for $23 with tax and shipping $29.99 for the Paw Patrol pups. I find these all the time at the Goodwill bins. When I tell you I dig to the bottom of the bins to look for the toys, these are the types of things I'm looking for. I also have two huge totes of Paw Patrol also. I'm a Paw Patrol hoarder. Um, I pick them up everywhere and, you know, I just get to them when I get to them. I may end up bringing toys to whatnot. I'm looking into possibly Re branching out into that. So if you guys want to follow me on Whatnot, there will be um, a link down in the description. And if you're not on Whatnot already, you can get $15 to shop if you use my referral link to join. And I would appreciate it if you guys would follow me. Thanks so much. Even if you come over and you don't buy and you just come over to say hello, that would be awesome. The next item are these Fisher Price Little People Nativity Replacement Items. Okay, so these are fantastic. They sell really well. Um, Sometimes I bundle them like this is a set of three animals. Sometimes I sell them individually, like there's Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus. I will usually list those individually. These right here sold for $15.50 plus shipping. And I believe I got these at a garage sale. My cost of goods was probably around a dollar. I bundle a lot, you guys. So some of the pricing, I, I may have even gotten it cheaper. This right here I picked up at a garage sale for $1, $1. It is a Chico stretch leather belt size small. And I sold this for a best offer of $12. And the buyer was all in for $19.55 for this Chico's belt. This here I thought was going to sell so much quicker. I don't know if it's because the packaging wasn't in great condition or what. But it is new old stock. And it is a vintage Mattel Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Dopey and Snoopy. And they're stackable. And they're so stinking cute. Um, I picked these up at a garage sale for $3. Ended up selling them for $22.74 plus shipping. This item here is a vintage glass, glass by 
Peschica. It's a flapper dancer feather boa Christmas ornament. I got this at a garage sale for $1. Took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This here is a camel. It's a 1983 Fontanini Nativity replacement figurine, Depos, Italy. And let me get you right here is what it looks like. You got, um, And I don't think they are all marked the same. So um, definitely do your research on the markings for this brand. But this one is actually marked. And um, it's camel. Let me get you here. And then it says Depos, Italy. And I sold this camel for $22 plus shipping. And honestly, I don't remember where I got it, but I probably paid a buck, maybe two for it. This is Tigger. Um, he's from Winnie the Pooh. And this actually came out of a lot that I purchased off of wholesale. And my cost of goods for this was about $3. Now, here's the thing. Um, I purchased the lot from, um, it was actually a lot that the Rebel reseller had on wholesale and I purchased it from her. I can't remember how many items was in the lot. Some of them sold for more than others. Some of them were listed for more than others. Um, so again, it's an average of $3 per item. That is with the cost of the items plus the shipping because we I did pay the shipping. So I'm counting that as part of my cost divided it all out about $3 each. If you want to see that unboxing, I have a whole video on that and I show you exactly what I got in that box. If you guys are not on wholesale, it is a, basically it's a place for resellers to buy from other resellers wholesale. Um, definitely check it out. I do have a link down below. It is a referral link and you'll get $10. So um, you can use that to shop. And it's a great place to source. And if you're looking, if you have so much inventory and you just want to sell it in bulk, maybe you do storage units or just have an abundance of stuff and you want to move it quickly, wholesale is a great place. So check that link out down below. I ended up taking a best offer of $8 on this one and the buyer paid shipping. So did I make a ton of money on this one? No, but there's another one that I sold for more. I think it might be in this video, but if not, it's in one of my other what solds. And I think I've sold three or four items so far from that lot. The next item I sold is this vintage Lincoln Logs train. And this sold really quickly. This is from um, the Goodwill Benz. I bought a Lincoln Log set. It was incomplete. And I went ahead and parted it out. I think that's in one of my videos. Can't remember which one. So you've probably seen it. But if you remember, it wasn't that long ago. This item sold. And I sold this for a best offer of $12 plus shipping. So it's the replacement train. This here, most of you probably wouldn't pick up. I probably wouldn't either, but it was in a thrift store mystery box. So I said, you know what? It's vintage. It's Avon. They're cute little candles. I'm going to go ahead and list it. Sold these for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This right here came from a uh, thrift store. And at this thrift store, they put the items outside in totes when they don't sell in the store because it's a small store and they're only open limited hours and they have to get rid of the stuff. So they just give it away. And usually when um, I find stuff outside, I just give them extra money at checkout. So I'm actually paying for the item. So I don't know what I, I always make a donation when I go in. So I'm going to say I got them free, but technically I gave a donation. So these are the Prayer Bear Volume 1 through 3 VHS featuring Steve Green. Anything that is Christian based, I, I pick it up uh, because people are looking for these items for their kids. These are VHS. I sold these for $26. The buyer was all in for $32.80 with shipping and tax. The next item, I love, love, love finding these. You guys, if you find these refill pages that are new old stock, oh my goodness, they sell like hotcakes. I'm not kidding you. Um, I got this, I believe, oh, I didn't write it down. I don't know if this was from my scrapbooking lot. I pick them up all the time at garage sales. I usually get them for a buck. And I sold this one for $18.20 plus shipping. So the buyer was all in for $37.12 on that with tax and shipping. Is that crazy or what? Um, 
just, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Aggravation board game. I picked this up at a thrift store for $3. I don't pick up a whole lot of board games, but I did uh, pick this one up. I scanned it. It looked decent. It was three bucks. It was sealed. So I went ahead and took a chance. Um, I do say that I like putting board games over on Poshmark because I feel like they sell well over there because the shipping is cheaper. Um, I think it's just under $8 on Poshmark for anything that's five pounds or less. And you do have to be careful with dimensions, but this game was, this was fine. You just can't sell really big things over there. So I uh, sold this for $26 plus shipping on eBay. I do use List Perfectly to cross post. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. And I use List Perfectly. If you guys want to know more about that, there's a video down in the description. It's a demo video. It's going to walk you through it. It's a how-to. Like, I am a visual person. I want to see how it's done before I even think about trying it. If you watch that video and you think it's something that will help you with your business in 2023, definitely consider it. It is awesome. I love it. Um, you can use my referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, when you sign up, and you're going to get 30% off your first month. So that is definitely down there for you. With my other referral links, you guys go to that description and check out my referral links because most of them, you get something if you use it. All right, this is a Pixel, Pixel Chicks, and this one was broken. So it lit up on the bottom, but it did not light up on the top. It had some scuffs. It was in pretty poor shape. If you don't know about these, they are definitely a bolo item. If you can find them working, we're talking $70 to $100. And I actually sold three. I think I sold all the other three. I may have one left. I had four total, but this was the only one that didn't work. But they all were like not perfect condition. And you'll see them in other videos. You'll see those in my big money bolo videos. This one ended up selling for $24.99 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. This next item is What God Wants for Christmas Incomplete Kids Nativity Set Replacement Pieces. I picked this up at the Goodwill Bins. Um, I was at the Goodwill Bins and my phone completely done toast. I had been recording way too long and they tell me we're about to bring out a whole bin of Christmas stuff. And I'm like, what? And I'm so excited because I love selling Christmas stuff. And which is funny because I just did four or five shows on whatnot of Christmas items that I sold all Christmas items and it was super fun. So you guys, again, if you're not following me on whatnot, definitely do that. We have a good time. Okay. So I did get a video because I found so many incredible items. One of the other items I found was the Lincoln logs that's in that same video, but it's, um, I had to record from my shopping cart. So I went out plugged in my phone and just recorded from my phone right there with everything in the shopping cart so you guys could see exactly what I got. And I popped up all my screen shares and everything. So it was kind of funny uh, sourcing from my shopping cart. So check out that video. All right. So I sold this for a best offer of $14. It flew out of my store, sold super fast. And it was incomplete. So replacement parts there. This is a Viewmaster, and if you guys remember, I had the video where my friend sourced for me at the bins. This is one of the items she picked up for me, and I pass these up all the time. Honestly, I would have looked right over this, so um, I will not do that again because this sold pretty quickly, and it sold for $17.36 plus shipping, and I said to her, I was like, what's the deal with this? And she's like, I had one as a kid, and I loved it, so, you know, it spoke to her, so she picked it up, and... I sold it. All right. The next item I undersold. I know that I undersold it. I listed it and it sold super fast. I had some others listed that sold for more. You'll see those in other videos. This is a lot of seven and it's Molinic, Molinic polyester thread and it's for quilting, I think. And I ended up selling this for $12.40 plus shipping. It went on sale and bam, it sold like immediately. I'm like, oh my goodness, what did I do wrong here? But that's okay. Um, uh, the others sold for more. I learned a valuable lesson. I did research it, but sometimes, you know, when things like this, it's, it's hard to figure out comps. So 
This here came from um, the viewer that asked me to come pick up a bunch of plush. She needed it out of her house. And I did that. And this is one of the items that I sold. I sold this for $14.88. Uh, the buyer was all in for $24.62. Um, I put batteries in it. It did work. And it is a super cute little draft. And I thought by putting the glowing picture as my main picture, it would make my picture stand out when that people were looking through the listings. And it also showed that my item worked. The next item is this Dickens Collectibles Accessories Resin Geese Pond. Okay, so I don't know. I think I have a video. It may be over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. I am not a big fan of these unless they are like Department 56 or some of the fancier ones. But... I got a whole huge box and I'm like, you know what? If I just donate all this, I could be making money on it. Like I know I don't like to take them out of the box and take the pictures and put them back in. It's a lot of work, but I decided to do it. And you guys, it's actually paid off. I've done really well with that lot. I do have some left, but overall they're selling and they're doing pretty good. So this is what this one looks like. It's got all the original packaging. So it was really easy to ship. It was just a matter of, I got to take it out of all this stuff, the plastic, the styrofoam, and I made myself do it. And I'm glad I did it. This ended up selling for $10 plus shipping. So did I make a ton of money? No, but the, the whole box probably was pretty cheap. Uh, usually um, I get them when they're on sale. This next item is Lego Ben 10 buildable figures, a lot of three. I picked these up at a garage sale for $2.50 and I sold these for $31 plus shipping. I have done really well with the Bionicle style uh, or the Bionicles in the past. And these kind of look like Bionicles. I don't know. Um, they are Lego and Lego makes Bionicles, but these are Ben 10, but they have the same kind of, you know, shape and build to them. So um, I did not use the word Bionicle because I, they're not considered Bionicles. This right here I pulled out of the Goodwill bins also. And, you know, it was something that somebody had thrown back in because I'm guessing this was over with the linens. And I believe I found it in the hard goods. Now, here's the problem with it, you guys. Right here. It says Wamu or M Muma. <laughs> I think it's Muma, but anyway, I had it upside down here. Muma, so that must have been like maybe a grandma made it for their grandkid or something. Definitely a handmade item, but I was like, you know what? It's Care Bears. Somebody can like take that stitching out. So I just disclosed it and it actually sold really quick for $24.80 plus shipping. The next item is this Snoopy ornament from 1965, made in Japan. I got this at the Goodwill for $1 and sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. And you can see right here, it is dated, made in Japan. Super cool item. This is Woodstock. These right here, I thought about not listing because they are breakables. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like they're stacked on top of each other in here. So what I did is I put bubble wrap in between each plate. I stuck it back in the box. And if I remember correctly, I bubble wrapped the box like crazy and then double boxed it but I just wanted to show how I was shipping it so that they knew that the plates were not going to be bumping up against each other. And I always put the measurement in and I show the back. Okay. So that is how I list stuff like this. This came out of a mystery box. I looked up comps and I'm like, you know what? It's worth it. I'm going to do it. I sold this for $30 plus shipping and the restoration hardware, Holly Berry Christmas holiday plates set of six. This is another one that came out of that mystery box that I was like, I don't want to list these because I'm lazy and I don't want to take them out of the boxes. But I did. And this one sold for $12.40 plus shipping. This one is by Heartland Valley Village Christmas Lighted Porcelain Clock Tower. These are Creative Memories Milestone Journaling Boxes, lot of eight. So anything Creative Memories, if I can get it cheap, I'm buying it because this stuff sells so well. Um, I got this at a garage sale for about a buck. I sold these for $13.64 plus shipping. The next item is my broken Gymshore nativity guy. This is from, uh, was this? Yeah, this was the hashtag Ben's Bingo challenge. And if you guys remember, I opened up a box and it was 
a nativity box, but I pulled out a bunch of Jim Shore and I was like, oh my goodness. So um, definitely look in all the boxes if you're at the Goodwill bins, because sometimes you're going to find a treasure in a box that just looks like it's going to be something cheap. This guy did have issues. He had a broken hand. And let me show you a close up here. His hand is broken and you can see right there. So is his sleeve. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. And I thought through it when I was there because, you know, it's got a little bit of weight to it, probably about a buck for it. I knew I wasn't going to make a ton of money, but I like to prove that I can sell broken things. And this guy sold super fast and I sold him for $9.30 plus shipping. I even messaged the person that bought it and I said, I just want to confirm that you saw that the item was broken, even though it says damaged and broken in the title. Like, I just wanted to make sure. And they said, yep, they knew it was broken. So I shipped that out and it's gone. Now, on this one, you're probably wondering why on earth is my first picture have the tape measure in it? Um, I think it's because when I was putting my pictures in, I missed the actual first picture. And at that point, I had already deleted it from my phone and I was not going to go back in and take photos again because I'm lazy. Sometimes I will tell you I'm a lazy reseller. That is what I mean. Like, it's not worth my time. This is fine as my front photo. It's completely fine. I got this at the Goodwill for a dollar and I sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. It's a vintage Boyd's Bear Noah. And I will pick up Boyd's Bears, the plush, anytime I can get there for $1 or less. And they are in good condition. Um, if you can find the Boyd's minis, uh, those are the big money ones. I have a whole video on that. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, we're talking hundreds of dollars, some of them. This one right here is a Kelly toy baby bunny rabbit with crinkle ears. And this one sold pretty quickly. I got it at the Goodwill Benz and I took a best offer of $27 plus shipping. So um, if you see how I have the picture, I was told by Donna Bottolino, and she does YouTube auctions now, but she used to sell on eBay full time and she sold a ton of plush. And she said when she did her pictures like this, that they sold well. And I kind of see what she's saying, because if you're scrolling through eBay and you see every picture that looks like this, this one might stop you in your tracks, right? I don't know. But is Google Lens going to pick it up? I go back and forth, but I've been testing it and I've been selling them. So I'm going to say it might work, might work, might not, who knows. But this one was a cutie and I wanted to showcase the face. The next item here I got at the Goodwill Benz. These are acorn socks. I don't even know what they are. They're something, um, some kind of socks for men. This is what they look like. They might even be vintage, who knows. But they were new old stock. And anytime I find something that's new old stock at the Goodwill Benz, it's cheap. So I buy it. I sold these for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This right here is a vintage art glass paperweight with flowers and controlled bubbles. What does controlled bubbles mean? You see how these bubbles are placed in specific areas? That is controlled bubbles. That's something you can use in your title. I ended up taking a best offer of $25 on this and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this at a garage sale for $2. The next item is this Toys R Us, you make, or I'm sorry, Toys R Us, you and me happy together dollhouse, not to be confused with loving family. This is a different line. And this car sold for $13. I got it at a garage sale for one buck and the buyer was all in for $24.07 with tax and shipping. So you guys, that is how I turned $40.65 into $536.60. So I source cheap and I will list items that some people will pass by because they feel like it's not worth it or it's not going to be that $30 item. All of these items add up. That's $536. That is a ton of money off of little things that are easy to find, easy to find items that sell for a profit. Definitely keep your eyes out. Um, yes, you can be a person that only sources things that sell for $50 or more, but you also may be a person that doesn't make a sale every single day and you have to wait on the right buyers. My store is flooded with bread and butter. So I'm making sales consistently every day and it all adds up. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, let me know how you found it. And I would love for you guys to subscribe. If you've been here a while, thanks so much for coming back. And I will see you guys at the next one. Leave me a comment of an owl or write the word hoot. Thanks for watching.